This is the Music History Today podcast for June 28th. On today's show, the saxophone is patented and Louis records the greatest recording in the history of jazz. First up, though, on this date in 1846, Antoine Joseph Adolphe Sax patented his invention that became known as the saxophone. In 1928, Louis Armstrong recorded the song West End Blues, considered by most critics to be the single most important recording in the history of jazz music. We discuss more about this particular piece on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel as you are listening to this right now. Please check it out, like, and subscribe, as they say. Meanwhile, in 1962, the Drifters recorded the classic song, Up on the Roof. In 1965, country music legend Merle Haggard married singer Bonnie Owens. Also in 1965... Dick Clark's TV show, Where the Action Is, premiered. In 1973, the Helen Reddy TV show premiered on NBC television. In 1978, the band Kansas was chosen by UNICEF to become one of their goodwill ambassadors. Also in 1978, the movie Convoy, which was based on the C.W. McCall song of the same name and starring Chris Christopherson, premiered on television. In 1986, Wham! with special guest Simon LeBon of Duran Duran and Elton John played their final show as a duo. In 2002, Coldplay headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2003, Ruben Studdard beat Clay Aiken in American Idol on television. In 2007, Rod Stewart injured his leg while performing on stage in Manchester, England. In 2008, Amy Winehouse performed at England's Glastonbury Music Festival, but while she was there, she punched a fan who she thought had thrown something at her. In 2010, Jake Holmes sued Led Zeppelin for taking elements of his 1967 song Dazed and Confused for their song of the same name. The case was later settled. In 2012, The Flaming Lips broke the Guinness Book of World Records for the most concerts performed in different cities in a single day when they performed eight concerts in eight cities. Hunter Hayes then broke that record with 10 concerts in 2014. We discussed The Flaming Lips breaking the record also on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast. In 2015, Brantley Gilbert married his wife, Amber Cochran. In 2016, the TV documentary series Music Moguls premiered. And in 2019, producer David Foster married former American Idol contestant Catherine McPhee. In theater, in 1950, the Broadway musical review Michael Todd's Peep Show opened. In 1981, the Broadway show Piaf closed. In 1987, the revival of the musical Dreamgirls opened on Broadway, and in 1997, the Broadway show Masterclass closed. In award ceremonies that were held on June 28th, in 2005, the Fugees performed at the BET Awards. It was the first time that they had performed together since the mid-1990s. Albums that were released on June 28th include in 1963 when Martha Reeves and the Vandellas released Come and Get These Memories. In 1968, Manfred Mann released Mighty Garvey. In 1974, Elton John released Caribou. In 1980, The Soft Boys released Underwater Moonlight. In 1982, John Lord released Before I Forget. In 1983, Men at Work released Cargo. In 1985, ACDC released Fly on the Wall. In 1988, Amy Grant released Lead Me On and Public Enemy released It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back. In 1990, Bonnie Raitt released The Bonnie Raitt Collection. In 1994, The Brat released Functified. Also in 1994, House of Pain released Same As It Ever Was and Leonard Cohen released Cohen Live, Leonard Cohen in Concert. In 1999, the Psychedelic Furs released Radio 1 Sessions. In 2011, David Cook released This Loud Morning. Limp Biscuit released Gold Cobra. And the Doobie Brothers released Live at the Greek Theater 1982. Singles that were released 
on June 28th include in 1973 when America released Muskrat Love. In 1975, David Bowie released Fame, at least the RCA Records version in America. In 1986, John Mellencamp, then known as John Cougar Mellencamp, released Rumble Seat. In 1988, Huey Lewis and the News released Perfect World. In 1993, Michael Jackson released Will You Be There? And in 1999, R.E.M. released Suspicion. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 28th include Richard Rogers of Rogers and Hammerstein, country music singer Kelly Pickler, bassist David Knights of Procol Harum, singer Kathy Carr, singer Cheyenne, rapper Sire, singer Ansley Burns, rapper Savage, singer Zhu Young Sao, composer George Walter Selwyn Lloyd, drummer Bobby Harrison of Procol Harum, and also the lead singer of Snafu, and jazz musician Adrian Rolini. Artists who passed away on June 28th include composer Jan Brentner, who passed away in 1742 at the age of 52. Composer Johann Vogel passed away in 1788 at the age of 32. Composer Pierre Dutilleau passed away in 1798 at the age of 44. Composer Johann Sievers passed away in 1806 at the age of 64. Composer Giovanni Perotti passed away in 1855 at the age of 86. Pianist Joseph Fischoff passed away in 1857 at the age of 53. Composer Carl Hetch passed away in 1872 at the age of 66. Musicologist August W. Ambrose passed away in 1876 at the age of 59. Composer Edouard Gregor passed away in 1890 at the age of 67. Composer Gustav Uberti passed away in 1910 at the age of 67. Composer Henry Gardner passed away in 1950 at the age of 72. Composer Ede Poldini passed away in 1957 at the age of 88. Band leader and cornet player Red Nichols passed away in 1965 at the age of 60. Conductor and composer Paul Dessau passed away in 1979 at the age of 84. Composer Yoshiro Irino passed away in 1980 at the age of 58. Conductor and pianist Jose Iberti passed away in 1980 at the age of 84. Film score composer and also pianist Peter Kruder passed away in 1981 at the age of 75. Harry Mills of the Mills Brothers passed away in 1982 at the age of 70. Punk rock singer Gigi Allen passed away from an accidental heroin overdose in 1993 at the age of 36. Musician Willard F. McMurray passed away in 1996 at the age of 89. Band manager Bill Alcoin passed away in 2010 at the age of 67. Composer Eric Gardeber passed away in 2012 at the age of 75. The cellist with the Philip Glass Ensemble, Seymour Barab, passed away in 2014 at the age of 93. Elvis Presley's guitarist Scotty Moore passed away in 2016 at the age of 84. And composer Sergei Cortez passed away in 2016 at the age of 81. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 29th, when in 1984, Bruce's dance partner is a friend. <laughs> 